Dear colleagues, I would like to represent new non-parametric test for estimation of errors of forecast models using small samples. The problem of forecast error estimation is formulated in the following way. Let MJ, where J is varying from one to M, be forecasting models producing predictions X i j of data sequence x i where i is varying from one to m and epsilon i j where i is varying from one to n and j is varying to one to m the errors of the models mj obeying distribution function f i consider a lost function j dependent from the error epsilon i j describing model accuracy for example standard deviation to compare forecast by their error measures, we must test uh, whether the distributions are, their distributions are equivalent. If the distributions are equivalent, we can distinguish the model. There are uh, several error measures uh, for forecast. Mean absolute error, uh, mean squared error, mean squared deviation, root mean square deviation and normalized root mean square deviation. The hypothesis about similar accuracy of models MK and MA is equivalent to the hypothesis as a mathematical expectation of the difference between lost functions calculated for the errors AIK and AIL respectively for the models MK and ML is equal to zero. Thus, as the mathematical expectation of uh, such uh, lost functions uh, are equal. If a loss function is a, is a standard deviation, the problem is reduced to testing the hypothesis as the mathematical expectation of errors between two uh, models are equal. Uh, usually testing equality of forecasting models accuracy is reduced to testing of this hypothesis. However, the hypothesis that accuracy measures obey the same distribution is more general. Thus, to test homogeneity, it is necessary to test the null hypothesis, not only in partial case when mathematical expectations are equal, but in general case when uh, the, the distribution functions are equal. Consider the background of the test. Let X and Y are samples from distributions F1 and F2. Construct the variance series corresponding to X. The null hypothesis states that the distribution F1 and F2 are identical. If it is true, then due to the Hill's assumption, the probability that an element of the sample Y is greater than the I's order statistics and less than J's order statistics, where I is less than J, uh, is equal to J minus I divided by N plus one. Let's reference it as an expected probability. If the distributions are not identical, then the observed relative frequency significantly deviates from the expected probability. Therefore, we must estimate the difference between them. To do this, we use the confidence intervals for binomial proportion with given significance level. Let n be the number of the confidence intervals containing the expected probability. The proportion h of the confidence intervals containing the expected probability is called p statistics. It is an estimation of the probability that the samples X and I drawn from the same distribution. The next slide illustrates the errors of focus provided by the random forest model, K and N model, and gradient boosting model of the data on the data from Germany, Japan, South Korea, and Ukraine. These data were published in the uh, paper Chumachenko et al. in the journal Computation in 2022. The selection of these countries was motivated by different character of pandemic dynamics in these countries and different anti-pandemic decisions made by their governments. This choice should mitigate the bias due to these factors. Note that this is not unique variance of the country's selection. For example, Papa, Papa Stephanopoulos et al made a comparison of six time series methods to forecast percentage of active cases per population in 10 other countries using the other criterion, uh, the greatest number of total confirmed cases. Note that the size of this sample is small. To overcome this difficulty, we propose to use bootstrapping. 
uh, this slide illustrates that all considered tests are equally successfully work with data from Germany and Japan. Uh, the test successfully detected heterogeneity of the errors distributions of the three considered forecast models. Except in the uh, Diebold Mariano test, uh, when the p values is more than uh, 0 0.05, uh, in the case when uh, we compare uh, models k and n and uh, gradient boosted. In all other case, cases, uh, the models are different. In this slide, we see that uh, for South Korea and Ukraine, all models are different from other. So, uh, but uh, we see that uh, reclusion plutonium dubbed Mariana and Wilcoxon uh, has different p values such that uh, we uh, don't see the difference between models uh, random forest KNN and uh, great uh, uh, gradient boosting uh, uh, because uh, the P, uh, statistics is greater than uh, 0 0.6 but as that case cases are did not uh, see this difference The experiments made using the data from Germany, Japan, South Korea, and Ukraine have shown that the proposed test with bootstrapping is more effective for comparing forest uh, forecast models as, uh, than the Wilcoxon signed rank and the Debold Mariana test. The future work will be, will be focused on the comparisons of the proposed test with other tests used in this domain and other countries and on the theoretical properties of the p-statistics for the samples with unequal sizes. Thank you very much for your attention.